Now this video is going to go over really a very cool, unique feature of our HL7 Notepad products. Now it doesn't matter for this example, we're going to use our Ultraport HL7 Notepad. We could use the HL7 Plus Notepad. They are functionally identical. The only difference is, is that with one you purchase a computer license and with the HL7 Plus Notepad it's part of a subscription and you pay $10 a year for it. So our objective is to create an unlimited amount of testing data using only one or two HL7 messages to start. Here's the history on this. It has always been a problem when you're creating an inbound HL7 interface. In other words, someone is sending HL7 messages to you and you're doing it for the first time and you need test data. So you will get with your trading partner and ask them for test messages and they will typically begrudgingly provide you with one or two example messages for you to play with. The only problem is you're trying to set up a real interface and you need to know what's going to happen when you start receiving hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of these HL7 messages and it's hard to do that with just one message. But with the uh, Ultraport HL7 Notepad or the HL7 Plus Notepad you can do this in about five minutes. We're going to do it in less than ten and that's just because I'm going to talk a lot. First, before you begin you check the max load value in the program settings. Let's go here. I'm going to start up my Ultraport Notepad and we go to the program settings. It's this little icon on the toolbar. It looks like a painter's palette from a Bugs Bunny cartoon. I click it up. There's my max load. By default it is set to 1000. That means if you open an HL7 file with more than a thousand messages in it, it stops loading at a thousand. But I can set that to zero for all. Now look at the online help for the notepad on this. You want to be careful with this setting. This program works only with available memory, so if you try to open an HL7 message file with 50,000 messages in it, it might take a while. So be reasonable. Create a reasonable number of messages. I'll go through why it doesn't matter so much the number later. So we have done that. Before you begin is done. All right, to step one, open the small file. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open the file that we were given. This is what they provided for testing. One measly message. So we have done step one. Now here's where it gets interesting. Just be careful with this and follow what I'm doing. Save the file as a new file name. I'm going to call it minimessages.hl7. I'm going to put it right on the desktop. To do this, I'm going to click the Save Changes button. When you click this button, it always does effectively a Save As. So here it is. I'm putting it on the desktop and I'm going to call it Mini Messages. And I'm going to do a Save. And notice, boom, it saved it. There's my file. Now, step two is done. Step three, we're going to save it again. Only this time when we save it, watch what happens. I'm going to do a save. It kept my file name, so I don't need to put the file name in here, and I click save again. This time, since the file already exists, it gives me this dialog. Do I want to overwrite the file or append to the file or cancel? I'm going to choose no to append to the file and it is saved. Now follow. We have done this. Now that I've saved it, I want to click the Reload the File button. It's here in the middle. It's got a lightning bolt on the right. So I'm going to reload it. There's my two messages. They're the same message. Now I'm just going to lather, rinse, and repeat in this. Save save, no, reload. And you can see that this number of messages is going to get really big really fast. 
because it's doubling every time. Four hundred and twenty eight. Now I have 512 messages. The problem is they're all identical. There are 512 copies of the exact same message. What I want to do now is randomize them, and this is the trick. And click here to transform the messages. It's also in the Tools menu. So I want to transform these messages, and here is how you, you can write a, a script to transform them. The notepad ships with this little HIPAA basic anonymizer script. They'll be in the installation folder in a transformation scripts folder. It does things like puts random information in. You can kind of look at this and tell what it is doing. PID 5.1, that's the patient's last name. It's going to put a random last name. In 5.2, it's going to put a random first name. That's the patient's first name. PID 7.1, it is, that's the date of birth. It's going to put a date that represents a random age between 18 and 65 based on today's date. So all I have to do to run my script is click the play button, kind of like a video player. It's going to run. That took one second. I'm going to close this. I now have 512 messages and they are all different. You can see the patient changing on each one. And these scripts can be, they're blazingly fast. If I want more than a thousand, no, I'll just stay at 512. Let's take a look at where we're at. We've repeated steps three and four. We've used our transform. And finally, We'll do one final save, 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 yes, overwrite the file. So now I have my file saved with 512 unique messages. That's it. We're done. We've got 512 unique messages that we can use over and over and over again. Now, how do I use these? Here's an example. I'm going to go with our Ultraport uh, HL7 SQL Schema Engine. Again, it's functionally equivalent to the HL7 Plus SQL Schema Engine. So you can see I have a database engine out there, and it is running, it is importing data, HL7 messages from this folder. So if I want this to work, I can export these messages. So I want to export all of them to a folder. So you can see I've done it before. It keeps the last folder that I've done. And I click the Export button. If you're doing more than like 256 messages, it'll tell you this can be slow if you're exporting to a network drive or NAS storage or something like that. So, we'll, But I'm exporting to a local drive, so I'm going to say yes. And it's done. And I can now open the folder and see what the messages are. There they are. And you can see that my schema engine is already importing these messages. Uh, you can look at the online help for the schema engine. I have a schema browser put up, but I can see right now there's 428 messages already in for today. Uh, I can execute it again. There's my 512 messages. It's already done. Well, it will be. I have already done some others for today. So. Let's minimize this. Now, the trick is, but that's only 512 messages. That's not thousands and thousands, but it is. Because all I have to do, as many times as I want, is just rerun my, my randomizer, close the window. There they are. These are different messages. Okay. Every time, they've got a different message control ID. And I just export them again.
we should see this number start to go down as our schema engine starts to pick them up and there it goes so it's importing them now we can go to our browser and execute again 862 messages execute again 918 you'll see these messages just being loaded into the database and that is it I can do this lather rinse and repeat transform and export 512 messages at a go as many times as I want there we've got it we've created an unlimited test bed of HL7 messages it took less than 10 minutes subscribe to our channel to get other HL7 videos look at the online help visit our websites to download the products and try them out in demo mode and that's it